Since the first day we met? Yeah. Yeah, I just find you so well, interesting. You don't know anything about me. Yeah. Call it bartender's intuition. Yeah. That's why I'm always checking up on you. Hmm. I thought that was just because you pour a weak cocktail. Ha! <laughs> weak cocktail. That's not true. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Um, it's nothing. That looks bad. <laughs> Don't worry about me, okay? Are you, are you in trouble or something? <laughs> Why? Are you gonna save me? No, but if you need a talk or something. I sure do a lot of talking for a bartender. <laughs> Okay, look, if this is serious... It's not. It's not what you think, okay? Believe me. I can take care of myself. I know we don't really know each other very well, but uh, I mean it. I really like you, and I'm a good guy. You can trust me. Come on. I can handle it. Okay. I'm a trainee for an underground international assassination company run by some of the world's most powerful players, focused on taking out anyone who stands in their way. These wounds are just from training camp. I haven't even been out in the field yet. Oh, and your bar is my only escape. <laughs> and your weak-ass cocktails, they're why I always carry one of these guys on me. I get it. Deflection is a natural response. And I'm so sorry, boundaries and all that. It's cool, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> like...
And how was your evening, Trina? Boss? What? You know, babysitting you has become a full-time job. So, I can explain. No need. We heard everything. You bugged this place. Oh, please don't flatter yourself. The company keeps tabs on all of us. So what? There's a hit out on me now? Don't be so dramatic. She's a trainee, just like you. Neither of you are allowed real guns yet. I just thought that this would be entertaining. Besides, if we wanted you dead. Instead, the company has decided that an extended stay in solitary confinement is the appropriate punishment for your most recent screw up. It seems that ingesting an impermissible amount of alcohol and then disclosing our most confidential intelligence is, um, frowned upon. I know. First rule of Fight Club. <laughs> is this funny to you, Trina? Come on. That guy, he didn't believe me anyway. You do realize what happens to that guy now, right? I'm sorry. The company doesn't give a damn about your apologies. Your thoughts and your opinions are irrelevant. Your life belongs to us now, Trina. Remember? Let's go. Hey, uh, sorry, I just, I forgot my wallet and I could, I, I mean, I could, I could come back later. Don't move. Oh, whoa, 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 come on. Stupid play thing. Hey, 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 hey. Trina, what the, what? Boss, you don't have to do this. You're right. I don't. Hmm. Trina. You know, I remember my first time. Although my first kill was a job, not a mistake that I had made, I remember looking into his eyes as he pled for his life. You don't have to do this. I could smell the fear and the sweat pouring from every orifice. And then he hit the ground, and I watched all the fight train right out of him. I never felt so powerful. This is who we are, Trina. What are you waiting for? Shoot. Come on. Trina. <sighs> you weak little shit. Give me the gun. Stop telling me what to do. I'm not gonna ask you again. The company has everything it needs to bury you. You have no choice. It's my life. I always have a choice. You're right. You're right. But it's too bad you chose wrong. You weren't kidding. Hey, good aim. Thanks, but is she, she, uh... She's fine. We gotta get out of here. We gotta go. What? Where? I'll explain on the way. You're driving. You said you could handle it, right? You did say that? Didn't say that.